Hey, my gorgeous Veilers, here is your March 2021 overview. Aries, what a big month for my little whore bags. Love, money, and personal ambitions are all realized this March. Be prepared to wait. However, for the timing of things, maybe a little more slower paced than you're used to. Taurus, your professional life picks up and really takes off this month and in tandem with your blossoming love life. Can it get any better for the bulls? Yes, it can. And watch it all come romping home by month's end. Gemini, you can now confidently move forward with your career plans as it's the right stars aligning for you now. Watch your finances for unnecessary spend and it could in turn affect your love life. Cancer, lots of parties and soirees to attend this month. My oh my, quite the social butterfly. And you'll even find yourself helping others purely because you want to. Leos, you Leos are ferocious when it comes to your spend, but constantly being a Scrooge ain't gonna help no one either. Put some away each week as fun money and enjoy yourself this month. You will need to release. Virgo, you may find yourself at a crossroads this month in relation to your professional life. Don't you worry one bit. I'm here to help you. There's quite a few opportunities presented this month and you'll have those whispering in your ear one thing, but your mind, heart and guts will tell you another Libra. Oh, it's all about love this month, Librans, and in particular, those whom are married or in a serious long-term relationship. If you want to start a new business or venture, this month is it. Scorpio, there are family and work dramas to sort through and your loved ones will be there to assist you and help you to navigate your way clear of the debris and mind matter. Yes, it will all be okay. Sagittarius, it's complicated, isn't it always? Yeah, raising your emotional intelligence and your awareness of others who might be a little bit more ignorant will set you apart and these people will be so appreciative. Capricorn, it's nesting time for you this month, Capri babies. Time to invest in new furnishing, linens, homewares to truly complement where you live. It's your sacred space, so make it fabulous. Aquarius, oh wow, holy hell, two major things. You will limit your time with friends that simply aren't on your wavelength anymore and you will be completely re-energized by enthusiastic peeps that will accompany you on your new ventures and projects. Well done us. And lastly, beautiful Pisces for this March overview. Very good month for your career. Money comes to you in all ways and you will find yourself very happy and pleased with your growing bank balance. Nice one. And I always will love taking you beyond the veil. And love, <laughs> there's nothing but. This is the word to go, yo, yo. everyone and welcome to grown ass women tv oh yes that's a hashtag g-a-w tv use that hashtag when discussing the show we want to thank mel of beyond the veil for always being our hashtag gaw knowing friend i love when she does the star signs for us and it sounds like march is going to be an interesting month you guys oh i can't wait i can't wait wow yeah have you guys been um reading your horoscopes and i do it almost every day she posts it oh my god wow yeah she's scary Sometimes I'm like, I sit, put in the comments, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like, going, yeah. oh my God, I like this one. I like this one. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I love that she's, she has no filter, Mel, that had, never has a filter, but she also like gives it to you straight. Like if it's not going to be so great of a day, she'll tell you. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> like some kind of I needed this kick in the ass. Like if she's like, hey, stop procrastinating. I'm like, ah, crap. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Jeez, Mel. <laughs> All right, mom. All right, mom. All right, mom. All right, mama it. Mel. Hashtag mama Mel. We love her. Thank you for the mama star Mel. <laughs> Mama Mel, you can find out more about Mel by following her on Instagram and uh, visiting beyondtheveil.com. All of the descriptions are here on YouTube for you. And uh, we want to say hi to everyone in the chat room. Hi, guys. 
Hello. Chatting away Hi, there. Chat. Now, if you're watching on replay, you guys have to know, have to know that we are here live in the YouTube chat room every single Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern, and we love interacting with you guys in the chat room. Uh, but before we get into this episode, which is all about wellness, it's all about living a healthy lifestyle. And we're kicking off March with uh, that positivity, and we have a great guest for you. But before we get into that, please do us a favor and like this video. Give us a thumbs up, please. Oh yeah. Somebody screenshot that, that's a good one. Like this video, make sure that you're subscribed to our channel if you're a loyal Gaw TV fan. And finally, please make sure that you click the bell icon to enable notifications so you never miss a future episode. Ding, 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 ding. I love a sound effect, I gotta tell you. <laughs> I know, great <laughs> sound effects like a couple weeks ago. Oh my God. <laughs> on, the, on, the Bryce, you. On, on the Bryce one, the Bryce uh, yeah. Wilson one. I think the little kids going, hooray, when we do a shot might be my new favorite thing. Like I, I put it in as like as a trial and I was like, they're either going to really love this or they're really going to hate it, but I sort of love it. I love it. I like hooray. it. Hooray. Yeah. You might not be hearing that in this episode only because you'll see what we're wearing and drinking in just a moment. Again, it's all about wellness. Not that we can't enjoy a cocktail or seven once in every day, but we do try to uh, we try to kind of keep it in balance here. And today it's more about healthy, healthy beverages. Hopefully you guys are enjoying something healthy today and a healthy dose of Gaw TV. Speaking of healthy, you guys, if you love us here on YouTube, you know what's going to up, up the ante health wise? You know what's going to help your, your tell, ears? Tell us, tell us, what tell is us, it? please. <laughs> what is it? I was trying to segue that God TV will make you healthy. We can't promise that. But your <laughs> mental health may be improved by listening to the Godcast, the Grown Ass Women podcast. New episodes are up right now on anchor.fm slash God TV. We love the Godcast, right? Oh, love it. Yeah. It's so catchy, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's so gossip how we really just gotastically just gaw things in there any way we can. You know? Yeah, you're so right. We we love we love the branding. What can we say? Yeah, so leave a review God, for us. And yeah, all. and a big shout out to Ella Ella Jackson for helping us like transition too. So oh, yeah. yes, she is a grown yes. up woman indeed. So please leave us a review for our gaw cast and enjoy the show in podcast format now with new episodes up right now. So very exciting, uh, ladies. Shall we introduce our special guest? Yes. Ah, yes. I'm going to go to Mickey for this one because Mickey, this is a friend of yours. Can you tell us about our guest and then we'll get her in here and, and telling us all about our energies and all that excitement. Oh, stuff. all about our energies. Well, uh, my friend Melinda, actually I met through Kathy, but Melinda is like an energy healer and like, uh, she does all this like kind of energy healing, marriage therapy, kind of all these different capacities. I'll let her tell you more about exactly what she does is is that a word it, it is i want to know what she did okay <laughs> i don't want to know what she did what she doing girl what she, what she been done did what you doing no <laughs> i don't even know what that word all your new words, Mickey, Mickey, all your new words have become words in our show yeah. so <laughs> you like we need to have a, a god dictionary yeah we should Gautionary. a cautionary if you will yep just plop in the collar. Diction, diction, <laughs> gari, go. Yeah. When no. I really like something, you'll just see me go. Whoa, wee, whoa, whoa, wee, whoa. Oh my god. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Well, All we're right. so excited Sorry. to meet Melinda. Yeah, no, she's incredible. I was just on her podcast, and she's just really an amazing woman. She's a mom. She's a wife but she's really cultivated. She's still going to school, but she's going for Reiki. She's going for therapy, for energy healing. I'm telling you, I sat down with her over a session because COVID has been freaking hard on everybody. But even in just like our everyday stuff, I was just like, you know what? I try all kinds of stuff. I try Reiki. I try different types of like massage therapy with Reiki. I do all kinds of crystal work. You guys know I'm a hippie, right? So, but it was the first time I thought of like, ooh, just like energy healing, because it's really hard to keep your balance and all these like things, right? One session with her, dude. And I can't even tell you how much lighter I felt, not just after the session, but a week said later. three days uh, later, you were saying three days later, you felt like so positive. I would just feel like, like this release of like, just uh, sometimes it was just like forgiveness of like forgiveness of other people or myself or like these, these little things that she would, and she would pinpoint them. She'd be like, okay, so there's this one thing she goes, there's this 
of like, a, you know, abandonment when you were two or whatever. She just pinpointed these things. And she's like, I'm just going to try to release this. And she said, around my heart, my heart wall. She's like, it's all this. It's like these shards is how she explained it. So you have to kind of like penetrate the shards to get around because of life and experiences. We put all these walls, like they say this about you put your walls up. It's a real thing, like in a space, in yeah. your energy space, right? Yeah. Um, and she obviously, she's the expert and she's even studying in it, but so she can tell you a lot more. But in that, when I attribute that, I go like, well, my parents separated when I was two. You know what I mean? Gosh. So that just, that was it, it because my parents separated. My mom, I would stay with my mom. My dad was gone. I still saw my dad, but you know, that's becomes like the weekend, every other weekend thing. It's not the same. And a child doesn't understand that. You know what yeah. I mean? So even when you explain it to them, it's hard for the nux. Yeah, totally. And now that you're a mom, it must be a different perspective even now, right? For sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Or even I think about when I would go away on tour, even as a, he's an infant and I'm leaving him, you know, with my mom while I'm going away because I'm going to Mexico for four days to work or whatever and coming back. But he doesn't comprehend that mm -hmm. in his mind, you know? So you think about that too. And I go, oh, I wonder how that, it just makes me think about things differently. Right. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, well, that's, yeah. that's what this episode I think should be all about is to try to look at things differently and, and to start off March in a positive note. And yes. to help us do that will be our friend Melinda Nichols, who is an energy healer. And we can't wait to have her on the show presenting yeah. Melinda Nichols. Woohoo! I got my crystals, you guys. I got my crystals. <laughs> I should Woo! put mine over here in the corner. You got them? Hello! Melinda! I'm rubbing my crystals right now. I'm rubbing my crystals right now. Yes. Yeah. I was yeah. just telling the ladies how amazing you are, how wonderful you are, how I was just on your new podcast, on your podcast. And so I've just raved about you for just a five minute solid. So oh. I hope that's maybe awesome. six and a half minutes, six and a half. <laughs> it's about six and a half, Nikki. No. Yeah, sorry. Well, I'm We're so excited to meet all of you. So excited to meet you. We're going to make sure that we put all of your information up for your Light Ignite Love podcast, which you guys should definitely check out, including Mickey James' episode. And I can't wait to hear it myself. Now, Melinda, you're an energy healer and a marriage and family coach specializing in relationships and energetics, right? So can you kind of explain what you do for the fans that are meeting you for the first time? Yeah, absolutely. So the first thing that we start with is like the heart alignment. What we tend to do is build walls around our heart. <laughs> and yeah. then um, that kind of keeps us closed off from others and ourselves and our creativity. And Mickey and I were talking about creativity and how important it is in our success and what we're doing in life to help serve others. And so we really want to keep that heart open um, to others. And a lot of times it's like, well, I got to protect my heart. I got to put up this wall to protect my heart. But you're really closing yourself off from yourself and from everything that you could do without that wall. Does that make sense? Definitely. Yeah, but it's hard yeah. to because like, and you know, like in our business we have um, been in, we're just so programmed to close off our hearts because we have been hurt a lot in, you know, not just in wrestling, but just in life in general. So you, it's really hard to break down those walls. And um, I think having a, 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 you know, a reading, is that what you call, or a, a discussion with yeah. you kind of will help us guide us, like how do we do that and all that stuff because, I, I have a lot of walls up and um, I'm so excited to have you on the show because I'm one that does have the walls up because I've been hurt a lot. You know what I mean? So it's just hard to break those down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Lisa, your name actually was coming up to me a lot today as preparing for this. And I was talking about this with Mickey earlier, how it's like, okay, a lot, you know, I'm so excited to meet all of you, but then I'm stepping into the energy and I'm like, okay, just wait, just wait. <laughs> it's a we'll lot get there kind of thing. So, um, but if that's something that you want to try out today, I can show you a little bit of how it works. Um, now, let me ask you a question. Did you have any kind of headache today or anything like that? Or kind of like pit in your stomach yes. today? Yeah. yeah. So that's Absolutely. what I've been feeling a lot. And so actually right before everything, I had to take a little, I had to just lie down a little bit because I was like, oh, I'm okay. sorry. I'm so I'm sorry. Oh no. I love it. I love it because I just feel you. I just feel your sweet spirit. So I know, um, a lot of times you guys talk about, oh, what you're wearing and that kind of stuff. Maybe you already did it, but oh no, no. we're going to wait. We were waiting we're to wait do for it. you. Oh, we're we're you. I'm so excited. Yeah, I want to show you. I had to wear sparkles 
sparkles today because you guys are just such a light. I was watching your I was watching your stuff and I'm like, okay, well I gotta wear sparkles with my with my sweats and get all comfy and get ready for you guys in my uh, little massage studio here. But well, inspired you to wear sparkles, like our job is done. For me, that's just fantastic to hear. That's <laughs> So, yeah. yeah, but I love your polka dots and everybody and oh, you guys are oh, so cute. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy that you reminded us of our who we wear and what we're drinking. Because yeah. I know you're wearing your sparkles. I'm drinking a spot of tea in my favorite coffee mug. Is this the one oh, my cute. mom gave me with my sisters on it here? That's so cool. Oh, Remember? I love it. Yeah. But look and at what heart. I'm wearing, y'all. Y'all want to see? Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Those oh, are awesome. <laughs> Look at these Zubas. I'm bringing them back. Single hand with you and Mojo Raleigh, I'll tell you. I got these from Mojo. Mojo had these sent to me we from Zubas. Because you know he does all the tours and stuff there. Mm -hmm. um, but these ones I, I, I really do love. These are the yoga ones, the yoga Zubas. And I was like, he's like, hey, can I give you some Zubas? You want to try these on? See if you like them. I was like, uh, sure, I'll try them. But I don't know because the this... This is what I remember of Zubas, these and fanny packs. Yeah. And uh, the pockets are out because clearly I wear them and I still love them. And I wear them, but I only <laughs> love wear them a good around. Pocket. Yeah. Yes. And I love a good pocket. I can't turn down a good pocket. No. So, yeah. You know, the guys, we were talking about this on Boxer before, uh, and I was going to tell you guys in Impact Wrestling or TNA back in the day, they decided to, I, remember, I don't remember who thought of it, they decided to do an 80s dress up like throwback day. Yeah. And I dressed up on the wrong day. I, would, I didn't look insane, but I looked really 80s. But I kind of always do. Hello, I'm Bette Midler in big business right now as we speak. But like Bobby <laughs> Roode and Eric Young showed up in the Zubas with like the fanny packs. And they kind of didn't look that different from normal, though. I got to be honest with you. I know. <laughs> they, dressed up, they dressed up in their workout gear. It's the Wednesday. And, and you know, I'm very sensitive about the fanny pack because that's all I wear, you guys. I don't have a I purse know. or anything he like that. I fanny pack. And Oh, yeah, I like I my know. fanny pack. I just gave Lisa, when I saw her um, at the Rumble, I gave her a new fanny pack from the um, Operation Underground Railroad. They had sent a fanny pack in that giveaway when we did that giveaway for the thing. Yeah. And I was like, oh, she would love this. And I she love it's that. fancy. It's really yeah. fancy. And Lisa, she was what are you wearing in drinking? Everybody thought was Magnums the whole time, oh. the whole weekend. She was wearing these Nikes, but we were like, hey, are those Magnums? I even said, are those Magnums, sis, with her fanny pack? She's like, these are considered Nikes. old school wrestling shoes, um, but they're not, I got them, they're Nikes at Ross, regularly $176. I got them for $80. That's expensive for Ross. That's really expensive for Ross. But <laughs> they're, they're, the <laughs> bottoms are tennis shoes. They're very, they're tennis yeah. shoes and very soft. And um, yeah, I, love a good and then when I was, we were, okay, Melinda, like we, M Melinda <laughs> we were so, we were so worried about how to dress. I was like, and then, Val was like, I'm going to wear white because it's very, like, you know, like, very light and, like, open and stuff like that. And I go, I was freaking out about what to wear, and I haven't washed my hair since this weekend, and uh, I, I just went comfy, you know, just my normal, just. Yeah, I love it. So, a little so onesie. Cute. It's just a onesie, and I had to have my crystals on. So, I was like, mm -hmm. um, yeah. so I hope you approve. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute i love it <laughs> Lisa, are you on the tea as well i think we all might be having tea today are we having tea today i, I went with english tea i was going to do herbal tea but i went with a spot of tea like this love a little afternoon okay, tea darling a spot of tea, spot of tea. I, I got the wrong memo i got a i did oh, green happy. smoothie Ooh, I did cool. Cool. Uh, yeah so this my daughter got me this for christmas because i love elephants so much that's my favorite animal too yeah oh that's so awesome yep you can yeah. see I have elephants in the background. I have elephants all over because clients just bring me, you know, elephants. I, don't, I love That's them. Sweet. <laughs> Good luck. They're a very grounding animal. They're very wise, you know. Yeah. But, yeah. They're so and, and nurturing. Nurturing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I'm on the bandwagon yeah. with the tea, you guys. And I have a very <laughs> ridiculous, um, there it is. <laughs> this is an Alaska <laughs> mug from RuPaul's Drag Race. And it says, hi. And <laughs> so it's cute. the cutest thing. It's from... Um, I will put her name up, Rebecca Hickson Designs, uh, who I bought this at a drag queen convention. That's my jam. And like Lisa said, I was like, I don't know what to wear. We, we have kind of a pajama theme, but it's sort of evolved now into different looks. And I have so many silly accessories I like to wear. But I thought, let, let me go with white. White seems very cleansing. This episode's all about wellness and restarting here in March. So yeah, again, I hope you approve. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. Yay. And then Mickey's really grounded with her 
her red and she's just grounding us all out and <laughs> yeah well I went with the wet sweatshirt because I was like oh it's really cold but I wanted to make sure I got my Zubas over because I was excited about these guys and I had a tank top on earlier but you see how you have your hoodie on I was too cold I was, yeah I was me too really it's freezing I didn't here want too. to rub my arms like this the whole time yeah you just practice yeah. self love, girl. Just some self love, self hug. There you go. Well, it's just the constant battle of the thermostat. You know, I, I have to go back to tell me seventy two to sixty eight, seventy two to sixty eight. I'm like, why? Just, you know, we should compromise at seventy, but it doesn't happen. <laughs> happen. Melinda, tell us about your Armor Alignment uh, Facebook page. Now, I, I read about Armor Alignment, but what exactly does that mean for people like me that are confused? Well, actually, I have um, two podcasts, Light Ignite Love, the one um, where I interview awesome people who light the world like Mickey. And then I have the Armor Alignment Call, which is a live call every Monday morning at 6.20 a.m. Mountain Time. And we just go through um, lining our chakras, like doing a body scan, scanning everything off, getting out all of the yuck, and then putting on our armor of God. So I believe healing comes from Christ and, and God in Christ. And so that's kind of how I lead. But every, you know, whatever, your higher power, that's great. And so um, we just put on the armor of God every Monday morning to start the week out. And that's kind of what we're doing there. So it's pretty, it's really fun. But. Very cool. Well, you mentioned colors yeah. and we were kind of talking about white yeah. and pops of red and things like that. Do you think colors actually change the mood or does it have anything to do with energy? Oh, absolutely. Because the chakra systems are all, are all based on color. And so for sure, like Mickey, um, a red is like a really for the root chakra, really grounding kind of color. And then orange is more for that creative chakra center. And then we go on up to yellow for the power center. You, you know, if you want to be more powerful, you wear that yellow to kind of help promote that energy in, that's, inside that's yourself. Color. It's my yeah. <laughs> They, they I can see that. Also, the favorite color of what? Psychopaths? No, schizophrenics. I said. I said. <laughs> uh, I was told that. Yep. People that wear like yellow are a little bit, a little bit, a little bit out there. Um, uh, yeah, Power little, hungry. Oh no. <laughs> they, I don't. I don't know. Like a little bit, a um, little crazy. Ow. That's what they say. Like my favorite color <laughs> is red. But um, when I, you know. My least favorite color is yellow. Does that say a lot about me? If that's my least favorite color, it just doesn't go with my skin tone. <laughs> right, and it, it might be that you just already have that power just so strong within yourself that you're just not needing it, right? And so, I mean, it all really depends on the person and where there's an imbalance or not, what they need, you know. Um, so I would say try one of the armor alignment calls and see what you get through that process. And then we can talk about that even more because it's it. just really fun. We can do it. Yeah. So with the global pandemic going on, everyone's going through different forms of lockdown. You know, most people can't travel like they used to or work like they used to. I think it's, it's a very basic question, but hopefully you can shed some light on it with your expertise. How would one just lift someone's mood? I mean, if you're having, we all have those down days. I think you're supposed to have those, you know, allow yourself some time to have those down days, but what can people do to sort of um, get out of that funk? Absolutely. That's so important. And so I, I really believe that um, just putting up your armor. And so we've talked about heart walls, right? And how we don't want a heart wall. And why is that? Because it closes everyone off from us, right? But we do want this protector, this protector shield, right? Definitely. That's impermeable. It lets in the light, but it keeps out all, it's like a filter. It keeps all, all the yuck right? All the anxiety, everything that we're going through, because it's just so much in our mind. So um, definitely try some meditation, try some self massage, there's techniques that you can use to do that. Um, but clearings, anything to clear up that energy, um, to just get out all the yuck and just strengthen what you have that light within you, you know? I love that yeah. word yuck. That's I'm going to show you know. something that I have. I'm sorry, you guys continue on, but I'm going to show you what I bought. This is the oh, game of show and tell that we play. <laughs> yeah. Show and tell. Um, I, I was it. telling the ladies about when I did my session with you and you had said even something for, it was like, oh, abandonment at two. And I was like, oh, how would she even know that or whatever yeah. that when my parents separated? But like, it's just being able to define and you were telling me, I was like, you know, we always hear that story, you know, those, those things of like, oh, don't keep your, put your walls down and all this other stuff. And it's funny how um, true it is 
in your energy and your spiritual kind of self of like the truths of like, there is all that. And it's so simplistic when you think about it, but it's like, oh, we do. And you're explaining that mine were like these like shards of, I forget what you said they were, the shards <laughs> of like this stuff. And you're like, you have to kind of break them down, but they, they will splinter and shatter, you know, different, depending on what you put your walls up, you can put them up with different types of metals you were even saying. So, yeah. which was interesting. It's interesting. It was interesting. That yeah. is interesting. Interesting. Sorry. Interesting. <laughs> so, I have. Oh, oh, I see oh, the yeah. other housewives. I have to say, I see the other girl. On the I don't really. Table. I don't do it very much. I have a lot of. Oh, look at that. I have, I have my too. crystals in this too. So did I? Did I um, infect this with my crystals or? I really <laughs> oh, don't. Do I, that. I don't know. Well, let's see. You ruined do, it. Do you know how to? Do you want me to try it? I don't. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go, Val, or, or Lisa, good job. Yeah. And it's still going, it's still going, it's humming, it's still humming. Yeah. Oh. And I also have a smudge, a smudge. Yeah, a smudge I have my too. smudges and my, my sage and my rosemary, what is it, the lavender, I do, I like the lavender with the tobacco. I'm not so that's, great at understanding, the girls talk about their crystals all the time. I have like, um, I think it's like a jade bracelet that I found for good fortune, I just find, I, I love green, we were talking about other colors, I've always loved green, maybe it's the red hair thing, I don't know, it's very Merida, but well, I digress, but I've always loved green, and I found the jade is something about fortune and, and prosperity and things like that, but what sort of, I mean, how do we know what crystals are for what, and which ones do you think are the I so I actually don't do a lot with crystals. Okay. Um, there's okay. some things that you just, you got to be careful with. And so um, I just, I don't I do that a lot because I don't know a lot about it. But I do like amnesis because, you know, it's something to like keep out all the yuck, right? That you, that we were talking that's, about before. So that's, I do my like stone. Amnesis. that's my stuff. That's my stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, Yay. but, um, well, but yeah, other than that, I don't really work a lot with crystals. So yeah. Would you, what, yeah. what materials do you like? Intuitively. Is it like, do you have like an intuitive thing? You pick up on it intuitively mm -hmm. or energetically? Yeah. And how did you know yeah. that this was a thing for you? Because I think that a lot of us feel so much and especially in like, I think our industries are a lot. Like, I feel like I feel so much and I don't, I'll like, it'll affect me. The energy of the room or the energy that will, of, of someone else will affect me yeah. indirectly. Yeah. Where I get exhausted by the yeah, because I'm like put so much, it's, I'm just feeling their stuff, you know, and it's, yeah. it's important. And that's really kind of like what's happening right now. Like I really feel um, like I'm getting a little shaky here. And I know that I was nervous coming on here because you guys are just awesome, but it's a little You're different. Awesome. <laughs> but um, so Lisa, if you want, we could go ahead and do a clearing for you and see if that kind of helps. Yeah. It, are you guys Don't game for that? I would like yeah, it. Yeah, I would like it. Yeah. I mean, yes. and I'll do one for everyone for sure. But um, there was just something today that um, I that I I connected with Lisa today. So we'll do that. So Lisa, can you stand up and just kind of show um your viewers how you can feel the energy? Because you know, it's one thing for me to say something, but I want to be able to show how you can feel it what I'm feeling. Does that make okay. sense? <laughs> okay. Do you want me to stand yeah. up? You said you want me to stand yeah. up? Yeah. So just okay. like that. And then if you just turn to the side so we can kind of see your profile. Yeah. And then close your eyes and say the word love. Love. Good. And so you saw how you kind of sway back and then a little forward there. Did you ladies see that? How, sh how our body swayed? Okay. So now um, you can sit down and rest if you want for a second. Um, okay. We'll do the clearing and then I'll have you get up and we'll test that again and see. Because um, really what we're looking for is a baseline of like where your energy is at right now and then do some clearings and then see where it's at after. Uh, okay. There's actually one thing I forgot to have you do. So um, if you wouldn't mind standing up again. No, and I don't mind. Okay. And say the word hate. Hate. Good. And then say the word love again. Love. Good. Thank you. So ladies, you saw that she kind of swayed backwards, like really good for hate. And then uh, love, it was still kind of standstill a little bit. Um, so 
hate is the weakest word, right? And love is the strongest word. So your body is like a lie detector. You'll want to, uh, to find balance. You'll know that when you say the word love, you should be leaning forward. And when you say hate, it should be leaning backwards, right? But when it's not, we know that there's something up that we need to clear. Okay. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah, totally. And so, um, so I just take, uh, with your permission, I'll just connect with you. And okay. what I do is I just say a little prayer in my heart towards okay. to Christ, because for me, that's the healer that I work with. Um, so I'll just connect with you. And then I'll ask your body and I muscle test. I use my fingers to just muscle test. There's many different ways that people do it. Right. And so I just test, um, do you have a heart wall? And your body says, yes. Um, and so just, just walls that you've built around your heart through, you know, everything that goes on, right. We all do it. And so, um, then I just ask what, what's this made out of? Um, so a type of metal and, um, just ask steel, some metal steel. And it's like sheets. So sheets of steel around your heart. So you just imagine that. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go through, um, and just ask, okay, what kind of helped build that, that wall? Um, what, and so the feeling of indecisiveness before uh, around the age of two, okay? And it's common for me to find like younger times um, in your life because what I'm really trying to do is like grab the root of the problem, right? And just, and so they kind of build upon each other, okay? So in the size of it, age two. And then depression, and it doesn't mean you are depressed or you're not. It's just like a, an emotion that happens, right? And we're just clearing that. And this is also at age two. Does anything come to mind with those emotions? I think my, my mother and father, maybe, you know, I don't know the exact problems but I know that they separated later on life but they didn't want to separate because the kids that kind of stuff you know what I mean but yeah. I was scarred at a young age from that so I think my heart does have a shield around it having non like the trusting issues mm -hmm. trusting issues yeah so that's all that's coming up that we need to gather okay. so if you just That's go ahead and close your eyes okay. and just start um, gathering all of that indecisiveness and all that uh, depression around your heart and just tear down all those sheets of metal. And when you have it all torn down and you're just cleaning up and you get a, your heart all polished up and you have this pile of debris, uh, let me know when you have that ready. I do. And if you could um, imagine your savior in front of you, and just hand all of that to your savior. I'm imagining myself sweeping it. Is that odd? I'm sweeping it to the side. Just sweeping yeah. it. Yeah. And so can you imagine your savior in front of you? Yes. Your healer. And so and give that to him. You know, a lot of the times we want to like do it ourselves. Right. And it's like. Exactly. That's the hard part too. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's, it's definitely a movement to make and to just hand that over. And then deep breath. And then I'm just uh, massaging my governing meridian here to just help that release. And so you can massage yours as well. Yeah. And just let that go. Good. And how are you feeling? Relaxed, actually. Very like peaceful. Is that odd? Like no, after a massage. Like after yeah. a massage, how you're just, yeah. Good night. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I feel, I feel like, yeah, I feel very light and just my, my hands are sweaty and yeah. they feel tingly. And how's your head? Very clear. Yeah. Just very. Do you feel that clear? Because like in the beginning, I think you maybe had a little bit of a headache or. 
cloudy going on, right? A little nervous, a little nervous yeah. talking to you. Lisa yeah. is very, we'd say she's very high anxiety. She's very, she runs nervous. She's like a worrier by nature. Yeah. She is yeah. a worrier by nature, you know? Yeah. So she runs high energy anyway. So it's like, yeah. Yeah. I'm right there with you. And that's probably why we connected so soon because like Mickey knows I was really nervous. And then, but today it was like a lot. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And I was like, okay, down. I think I've tapped into this energy here and we're doing that together. And so it's nice to just take that down a minute yeah. and to ground and to let yeah. that wall. And so a lot of people ask me like, okay, well now, you know, you removed my heart wall. I don't have this heart wall, but I feel like it's up again. Well, we can recreate it. So just keep in mind. I mean, it's all a process, right? You go and maintain your car or whatever you do, but it's life, you know, yeah. it's life. So we always yeah. have to look to that healing and to keep going and keep clearing things up. But, I think yeah. it's hard for all yeah. of us. And I don't want to speak for the ladies, but we've had so many conversations. Yes, yes. Cheers to that. Good job. Mm -hmm. I can't even clap. I, I was like trying to do, woo, you. but I'm just, I'm just so relaxed. <laughs> I'm just so like. Clap, ladies and gentlemen. But no, I, I think it's something that we've talked about before where we are all so, you know, on the go, or used to be before lockdowns, on the go, on the go, very cr uh, frenetic minds. And, you know, Mickey and I talk a lot how we, when we stay up late is when our minds get very creative and things like that. Yeah. So for me, when I first heard of meditation, I was kind of like, I, for example, I don't like taking bubble baths. I don't like just being somewhere like laying on a beach. I'm like, I could be doing something. I could be making some money. What am I doing? This is a waste of my damn time. But meditation, if, if anything, for me has given me a chance to like really just, and I don't, don't do it a lot, but sometimes to just have a little bit of time for me with silence, like just nothing. I don't, I'm the kind of person I need music on. I need like stimulants everywhere. And that's just sort of like, whoa, just nothing. And it's, it's really refreshing. Yeah. It, but difficult yeah. for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love meditation. I have to meditate. I've realized like, in all, especially all this, I have to take those five minutes just for me. And if I don't, I feel it. I'll have headaches. I have that um, I don't get that like upset tummy like I used to get. I used to get a really bad like upset stomach. Not like where I would feel like this way, just more like, you Nauseous. know. Not Nauseous. nauseous like, really, not, just airy, not like not get really naughty, just naughty. Yeah. Be, yeah. And then Mickey has sent me many meditation, like because I have ADHD as well. So she'll send me just 10 minute meditations because I won't have the attention to kind of like focus on that because I have stuff to do. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Stuff to do. Well, yeah. and I also wanted to mention to like, just be aware that um, to give yourself your test for like three days of processing to give yourself time because that indecisiveness, that depression um, that was once felt and once just trapped up in, in, in your heart, building that wall, um, you want to give it time to kind of echo its way out. Right. It's like yeah. giving you the choice to let that go. And so if you feel moments of that, it will never be like as intense as when it first occurred, but you might feel like a whisper of it. Right. And so just that's when it's important to like, you know, get on your knees and pray or meditate or do what you do. Right. To just ground and realize that you're healing and that you're yeah. letting that go. And right. Nikki was saying when she got your, um, cleansed by you she's like three days later she was saying going you guys i'm i'm feeling it now like it's it's i'm feeling yeah in your body and in your yeah. mind right you were saying oh, really yeah cool effects. that's interesting yeah oh. it was really interesting for me anyway because i was like she said i was like oh how is it because I, I was even like fascinated at the fact that we could do it virtually over the thing because i felt me so too. much you know one-on-one -on -one. I, I was like curious if you were even going to be able to do it with all of us sitting here because i'm sure you're picking up on different people's energies you know myself and Val as well so I was like oh that'll be interesting to see her do it that way yeah um, but yeah it was crazy because it would be like three days to five days later and it was just be whew, like to release it and I think it's really helped me and just more of my mindfulness of like okay why am I feeling super anxious why am I like analyzing it to sit down in that like that's where I think everybody processes things differently you know and it's like for me, for just my own mental health or whatever you want to call it, sometimes I just have to sit back and go like, okay, why am I feeling that way? For Because I'm an analyzer too. So I have to understand the why in order to be okay with it or fix it. You know what I mean? Exactly. In, my own, in my own mind. And plus too, I was saying this might be interesting because Melinda, 
Lisa is Jewish. So when you say, oh, give it over to Christ, when you're dealing yeah. with someone from, because it is where we all embrace different religions, different spiritualities or whatever. So it is, I think where she was able to release it for her is when you said, okay, give it to him, give it to that one, whoever your God, your God or whatever. That exactly. was an easier, because when you say Christ to her, it's like, okay, wait a minute. You know what I mean? So it's like. Right. It's Which dude, makes yeah. sense why you were sweeping it. Right. Because you're like, yeah. you know, yeah. not and identified my, with and- that. And then yeah. my meditation is, um, I do take baths, um, not long enough because it's, I felt, yeah, he's like, that's all my boyfriend's like that. You just made a hot bath. You just took three minutes. I go, yeah, I got hot, but I listened to my, my, my Jewish music, like, you know, from temple and stuff like that. And that's my, my, my Zen. I have to listen to it every single day. It's not just Fridays for Shabbat or anything like that. I have to listen to it every single day. Cause that's my happy place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Commendable. I love it. Feel her. When you said, "Oh, give it to Christ," I could just feel her pull back a little bit. I could feel uh-huh. it energetically, and I'm like, "I oh. knew what she meant." So though, I, was I'm, I'm, yeah. I know you yeah. were, but I think that you, we subconsciously do these things yeah. without them because it's it. what, this is our beliefs, and this is where the way we're programmed. So it's the art yeah. of being able to cultivate it for you know yeah. to still be able but to do she uses, but for them to be able yeah. to translate it for you. Yeah, so, but I'm I'm surrounded by so many Christians and Catholics and yeah. no, all I know. That stuff. Yeah, so I'm just so used to it being the only person in the room. Being I know, I know what I'm saying so, is like, like subconsciously, I, your spirit doesn't, even though you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. You're meditating and in that space, it doesn't translate. Translate. I gotcha. I gotcha. Well, Correctly. just for that instant, you know, just for that instant when you swept it aside. You know, and then it yeah. was like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, and putting yeah, it together, yeah. which is awesome. I think so it cool. Is. But you, one of the first things you said was that that's who I worship and that's who I give my, you know, that's who my heal. Yeah. yeah. But that's what yeah. I think is so cool and so woke about you, Melinda, which I appreciate that because we have people from all over the world that watch our show, you know, and I think yeah. that's so neat. And everyone's from different backgrounds and believes different things, but it's just about being positive and, and taking care of yourself and others. So I think that's really cool that you did mention that. I really appreciate that. Yeah. But I'm just trying to like that belief of something bigger than you to give it to whoever yeah. that is, whoever that is, what you think. Yeah. That and not just, I mean, for example, out, whatever. For example, this is um from like you know Punjabi or Hindi. Like re- this would yeah. not be acceptable uh-huh. in any other religion. You know what I mean? But we, yeah. I'm open yeah. to other. Me too. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Because we've gotten yeah, a chance to travel the world. I don't know what's going on here. Because we've gotten a chance to beautiful. travel the world too. I think it's opened our minds and our hearts to yeah. a lot more like yeah, everything, like yeah. religions and all this. And just I don't people. close my mind off other people. I don't close off religion. Right. Yeah. I love no, it. I embrace it because I go like, there's universal truths in all of it, really. When you yeah. think of it, there's like, yeah. I agree. And we were talking about this earlier uh, a, a while ago, Mickey, but um, how it's just like loving each other again, right? And that's yeah. really yeah. what like Light Ignite Love is all about. It's like, oh, I love you no matter what, you know, Jewish, Hindu, whatever, because that's what we're people, you know, yeah. and we need to love each other. And yeah. if we and it's, it's, just remember that, you know. And it's a shame yeah. that we learned that so late in life as adults, like, you know, I'm about to turn 50 and then that's when the walls break down. And you're just like, you don't have any hard feelings about anybody anymore. You know, you're just like going, you know what? That's the past is the past. Let's open our hearts. We're new people. We're not the yeah. same people as we were 20 years ago. Right. right? Yeah. yeah. I think so. There's one more thing, though, if I could jump in here. Um, yes. Lisa, will you stand up and do that test again so we can see oh, yeah. kind of like how things went for you? And so go ahead and say the word hate. Okay, Okay, see, you're pulling forward. So there's something. So this helps me get a baseline. So stay right there. Because um, sometimes when we're going through this process, people like to then start hiding things. And And um, so- I have my eyes closed too. Am I supposed to have my eyes closed? Yep, that's perfect. Yeah. And so I'm, if with your permission, I'm going to go ahead and uncover those and help you release those. So we have shame. Um, So before you were two, so a little bit younger than two, but not one. Um, And so we'll just release that, let that go. Good. And go ahead and say the word hate. Hate. 
Good. Pulling forward. So one second here. Now, could you get a drink of your tea or water? It is um, green tea, probably caffeinated. The number one thing that, um, you know, um, where we get misaligned in that energy is a uh, trapped emotion. Um, but there's other things like misalignments can uh, do that and also dehydration. So we have to stay hydrated when we do this. Um, but we'll release more shame. Okay, there we go. And go ahead and try again and say the word hate. Hate. Good. And so you see how now it's like, oh, something's changing here. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to release a little bit more here of an inversion happening. Okay. Go ahead and try again. Hate. Hate. Good. Release a little bit more. And this time I want us to start with the word love. Good. And just deep breath. You're not, you're doing great. Like there's no like itinerary on how this has to be. Exactly. Okay, ready? Love. Okay, so you see the inversion there happening. So we want to correct the inversion. So we're I'm gonna focus now. We've already cleared up the heart, we've done that, and we've and we grab grabbed some things that were hidden, but I want to work particularly on the inversion that's that's happening here. So this conflict, so there's conflict at age five. So something at age five, does something come to mind? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. No, no, the, yeah. five, the five year old is, is the big, big change in my life. That was mm. it. Okay. 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 So we'll let that go. And now say the, oh, I'm getting goosebumps with that one for sure. So, and say the word hate. Eight. Good. And love. Love. Good. And so what you might not notice is that this is actually a good thing because she's finding that balance and now she's not going either way because she's like, wait, I'm making a change here. And so it might be something that takes a couple days, but we'll try one more thing. We'll see how it goes. Um, And pride at age three, and like anything like you tripped or whatever, right? And your pride was like, oh, you know, you know, those things happen. Okay. And say the word hate. Hate. Good. She already was pulling backwards. You guys saw that before she said it. She just thought it. So that was pretty cool. And say the word love. Love. Perfect. Yeah. So you can see that it's like so much stronger now than even from the beginning because right. she's thinking it. She's like going. Yeah. And so I'm great with that just being like the slight because yeah. it showed the change. It showed that there was that inversion there and now I'm going the right path. And so the more you clean up, the more you you just clean everything out, that intuition and that like drive to your true path and purpose is going to become stronger and stronger right? As we clean up. And so yeah. you'll, you know, you'll start testing and you'll be like, you know, pulling yourself really forward. And yeah. um, because that's happening, but a great thing about this test that, so you can do it on your own at home is that you can then say, is my baseline correct for me to test for myself? Because you never want to be testing for yourself. If you're imbalanced already, that's when you need help because then gotcha. you're going to get everything all confused. But, okay. um, so thank you so much, Lisa, for doing no, that with me. thank you. Was thank cool. you. It was yeah. cool to watch it. Like, I'm wow. just like, and I could wow. see, and I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm yes. happy. So cool. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Well, I was going to close out the show. I was going to do like, oh. a, I, don't, I don't, I think it's too cheerful. I don't want to do, I feel like it's weird right now. Don't you agree? <laughs> We're going to be like, hey, here's a free 8 by 10 Now it just feels so <laughs> That was oh so my cool. gosh it was really cool to witness melinda that, that you could do that and that you could do that this way that you just did you know that you had a gift for this younger or yeah when did, when did you, you learn that? Feeling that so that's really interesting that you asked that because it's it's funny and val i don't want to leave you hanging so at any no, we'll, point we'll do a session like, at the time when we have more time yeah we'll do, I'd love to do okay sorry yeah that'd be so fun <laughs>
<laughs> but um, when I was younger, it was really funny because I remember sitting at church with my mom. And um, there's these some Sundays where you can get up and just bear your heart, your testimony out. And so everyone, they would take turns, you know, and I'm watching these, these people bear their testimony. I can't remember how old I was. Um, but I, I had to have been like eight or something like that. And I said, Mom, do you see what's around? Like, I feel like somebody who has a, a stronger testimony or something, like I, when I feel in what they're saying, like I can see, I can see their like their light aura, aura. around them yeah you know yeah. and I was like mom do you see that like does it change or is it because of like the there was a door you know near the near the pupil or the you know I don't know um, and so I was like is that from the door like why am I seeing this because some people who stand up there it's like stronger hmm. and my mom just looked at me she's like I don't know. <laughs> I think, yeah. I don't know, <laughs> you know, and, and I just remember that. And so my children, it's been really fun because my children will come to me and ask me the same thing. And now I know because of the things that I've learned that they're seeing auras in others and that they have this gift. Mm -hmm. um, because as I cultivated this gift and understood it more and like, you know, as an empath, you feel everybody's energy and you can get sick a lot, you know, like, Lisa connecting with you today it's like if you don't understand where that energy is coming from and you can't ground and you just feel crazy almost you know it's yeah. like ah because you're just connecting with people yes and um so it's just been a huge blessing to recognize what it is and that it's a way that I can help serve people and it's a way that I can spread my light and um so it's been and help, really and fun help to, people and yeah. help people like you are like yeah God, that was I amazing. Something to, uh, to me in the pod and in, in your podcast where you go, healers heal, he heal like healing people heal or whatever. So I'm sure even yeah. in that and like not understanding it, it, and I think too because it's like when you're a child, you have like such like open eyes to everything, and that's probably why you could see that. And when you say your children can see that, which makes me really curious because I'm like they can see so much more than we have because their glasses yeah. aren't tainted or shattered or right. broken or chipped. Not or they're not jaded, right? So everything is possible. No one's told them no. They can't have, think, be, do anything that they want to do. You know what I mean? So it's like they can see the potential and the the love in everyone. They can see it all. Totally. That's pretty amazing. Exactly. That's and they inspire me so much, my children do, because they're actually the ones who created the armor alignment call with me. Like we were out camping and we're studying the armor of God because it's Sunday. So we we're like, we're going to have our Sunday service that, you know, so in the car where we're camping and, and we're doing scripture study and, and I'm like, wow, you know, they just, they just created it with me. They're like, mom, your, your uh, helmet is like your, your chakras. And I'm like, you're so right. Like, you know, and it's probably like how all of the religions, you know, like we've talked about just have all these little things and how it's like, yeah, it all comes together, you know, in our own way. Mm -hmm. in, in, to make us better people to make us sense better. yeah it's different for everyone can, for sure. yeah you must see it's that really open, like who how they process things it's very interesting yeah yeah wow so cool yeah, they're so well, i feel lighter after this conversation wow. yeah, <laughs> yeah i know oh we, my gosh no wonder your podcast is called light ignite love because i literally feel lighter and and very relaxed talking to you and i hope that somebody watching is going to get a lot out of this i'm sure a lot of people will and that's why we want to make sure that you're looking at the description so you can find melinda on instagram you can go to her website you can go to uh hear her podcasts and and like we said take some time for yourself that's why we wanted to make this episode the first one in march so you can feel uh rejuvenated wow. by talking to melinda so melinda Linda, thank and you. Can so I much. tell you, I feel like a different person. I feel like I can actually go conquer the world. I'll be honest with you. You it's can. Wow. Yes. I, yeah. Yeah. Wait yeah. till three days. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, three days. Three days. Amazing. You are such a good karma. Like you bring such positivity in, in people's lives and yes. you're, you're a, a true help to people's so, energy and, yeah. you know, yeah. just like making you feel like you're invincible. You know, like, you know, we're in a world that tells women, you're not a man, you can't do this. And, you know, it's, it's, you're such a positive light. So I appreciate you being part of our show. I didn't expect this at all. Very cool. Holy moly. <laughs> I love it. Well, we'll say it. cheers to Melinda and please guys, make sure you're following her. Cheers.
Cheers. <laughs> oh, craft. We thank you so Cheers. much for being here and for making us feel so positive. Guys, please check that description and give Melinda some love on social media. We will see you next week. Tell us in the comments below, by the way, how you guys keep a hold of your mental health, how you stay healthy, how you are uh, trying to become more mentally healthy, physically healthy, because this is the time to do it. So as Melinda made Lisa feel, you can conquer anything and we believe in you. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Positive vibe. Wow. <laughs> Hang on, I'm sipping my positivity. Oh my gosh. This is the word to go, yo, yo.